Romper Bomper, Stomper Boo, Tell Me, Tell Me, Tell Me Do. Magic Mirror, Tell Me Today, Did All My Friends Have Fun at Play? All my friends had fun today. I see Diana. Oh my goodness. She's having a special day today. <laughs> Thank you so much. That's like literally a That's, dream come true. It's not the way we did it on the show, but I... It's okay. Every every kid out there that's my age, you were such an inspiration to. And we would wait for that moment. And so I wanted to ask you about the High Steppers. Yes. Okay, they were like a really awesome childhood toy. And when you think about the simplicity of it, it was basically a plastic cup. Yes. It was upside down. And how did they not all break? With, like, you know, a how did you do this? plastic oh. strings through them. Well, it was pretty heavy duty. Yeah. They plastic. Were, every kid had them at home at that age. Yes. And that was like the, the hot toy to have as a kid. And I had to be clear every time that we did the segment, I had to say, pull out your high steppers. But if you don't have high steppers, ask your mom to get a tuna fish can or some other can. And you, you can make these yourself because, you know, not everybody could run out and, mommy, I have to have these. And uh, so they always were very adamant about me saying that. Anything we used on the air, I then gave an option as to how to create it yourself. Was there anything that you came up with yourself that was added to it? I, not, that that I can, think of? not that I can think of. I don't, I don't think so. Uh, a lot of the stuff was really simple. You know, yeah, we had, so we had scarves, simple. we had bean bags, it's really we had hard as a kid to, to numbered, do. you know, plastic numbers that we jumped on, or flowers, or you know, so it was, it was, it was all very simple. You made a lot of kids so happy. And now, so as a, as a YouTuber, I ask a question. I like to ask you, music. What was your first concert that you went to? Uh, very, very fond memories of my first concert. I had to be somewhere around 16 or 17 because I drove. Okay. And where, I had where was that? This was in Pittsburgh. Okay. I grew up in Pittsburgh. And the fact that I was allowed to drive my friends to the Civic Arena to see Elton John's wow. Yellow Brick Road tour. Cool. It was the tour where he opened with the fog and uh -huh. funeral for a friend. And then into uh, you know, uh -huh. and uh, and then it came up and you got yellow, tiny dancer. He had yellow tiny dancer. He had yellow yellow feathers and uh, you know his platform shoes. And it was I remember. Did you get a shirt? Probably not. The program. Maybe all the memories don't have it anymore. I just I can I can remember sitting there with my friends and we were on this side and I when it opened it, it was his back to us he was playing so we were kind of off the side of the stage but you know you could see it all it was it was one and I remember you know I'd never I hadn't heard the album at that point. So it was the first time I heard any of that, and I did indeed run out and buy it. And then when CDs came out, it was one of the first CDs that I bought, and I still listen to it. Awesome. There's so much, so much inspiration you gave to everybody, and I want to thank you so much for your time. Thank it you. It's, really, it's been very nice meeting you. Me and you. And I love that you did went to like horror movies of afterwards. <laughs> I love like the transition. Like that's so, yeah. Well, all of that happened. Uh, you know, I was trained as an actress, so that happened beforehand because I was very good friends Which with George Rivera. Yeah. Dawn of the Dead was first. Oh, wow. Okay. And, and then when I was about to graduate is when I was, when they asked me and I was able to come to Knight Riders. And it was because of Knight Riders that I would, that I got the job on Romper Room. And in fact, my daughter, uh, Bridget and I have a podcast now called Mirrored. Oh, okay. And uh, it's mirrored, uh, mirroredpod.com. Mirrored as in past tense, M-I-R-R-O-R-E-D. Mirroredpod.com. We're on all the, we're also on all of the podcasting platforms. But the first episode, I tell the story of how I became Miss Molly and how Night Riders and Dawn of the Dead fit into it. Because it is kind of fun. You know, you were in a horror film and you became Miss Molly. When I saw on the list of you being here and I saw like three times, I was like, wow, you know, like I didn't I didn't realize all that. It's kinda we can all change our look and we can change everything and you know, but but this is like this right here, everybody knows you. Everybody knows Magic Mirror. And everyone says, Forever. you never saw me in the Magic Mirror. 
It oh, happens okay. all the time. I mean, occasionally, you know, I there's, there's, my occasionally there is someone who will come along and they say, yes, you've heard names? Names? We like, will, just, uh, People would write in, uh -huh. and then we would put the list of the names where people week. would write in, or people would write in if it was somebody's birthday. Uh -huh. Please say, you know, Susie on her birthday. Right. And that's where I developed the... Uh, Susie's having a special day today. Oh. That way, you know, another Susie would say it's not my birthday, right. but still was seen. And uh, so that's where that came from. And, and when they would run out of names, and then I would run out of names in my head, the cue to the crew was if I said Aurelia, mm -hmm. who was my great aunt, they knew I was out of names, that I was blanking. And they'd start, they'd start writing on the name, or they'd mouth names to me that I hadn't oh, said. Right. Is this the original mirror? This is the mirror. Yeah, this is the mirror. And the, uh, on the air, I had no. This is no. This is this is the one I used for all of those years. And I had two of them. So there was one that was solid. And how it happened on the air was it was solid, and then they would put the, the video in, and then I'd get the open one. And the, the children who came to the studio were shocked. They were like, the magic. And then I, when I'd say to them, Well, you're in on a very special secret. You know the magic. Tell anybody. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. It was such a pleasure. It was a pleasure nice to meet you. you. And how awesome that your daughter is the one recording this. <laughs> That's right. How my, cool daughter, is that? my daughter Bridget, she's the one who came up with the idea of the podcast because she's the same age I was when I started wow. with the romper. Uh, and uh, her name is Bridget. And I love her very much and I'm very proud of her. And, it's it's fun creating this podcast. I want them to together. come out with the DVDs or anything so I can have my kids watch. Even if they're older, I still want them. I, to. The only way to do that now is there are VHSs out there. Uh, every once in a while, if you you look on eBay or someplace like that, there's, there's people sell them. There's a lot of clips on YouTube. I did see YouTube. There's a lot of clips on YouTube. YouTube clips on it. So I'm like, there's many more there, but I got it now. So thank you so much. <laughs> thank I really you. appreciate it. Nice meeting you. Hi. Bye, friends. Bye.